What is going on guys, Mobile Carrier News here, and T-Mobile is set to launch 2.5 gigahertz of 5G carrier aggression. They plan to increase their 2.5 gigahertz of spectrum, basically their low and mid band, to improve nationwide coverage for all Americans, and basically have a better network. Now T-Mobile is on the current lead for 5G. Um, their 5G is, it's pretty fast. Um, it wasn't as fast when I used to have them. Um, I was looking at the map. They have improved Slight, uh, slightly, not a lot, but I refuse to go back to T-Mobile just because their coverage, they, they don't, they don't expand fast enough. And I really think T-Mobile needs to not get carried away and actually take their time to actually improve the service because all they're, all they've been doing is talk and get all this marketing, which is good. You know, I guess it's a good business, but if you can't back it up, it's going to be a problem. Currently, T-Mobile, they're actually, currently T-Mobile, they're in the lead, and they're actually lucky they're in this spot because they weren't like this to about 10 years ago. They were actually in a pretty bad shape. They were last place, of course. Their 4G LTE wasn't giving good coverage that people wanted. And I'm actually surprised by my, um, I never had T-Mobile 10 years ago I had AT&T. AT&T is a pretty good service, but, I mean, all three carriers are good, depending on where you are. But I've never had T-Mobile 10 years ago. But... T-Mobile has come a long way. Now T-Mobile does has have to keep uh, have to keep an eye on their low to, low and mid band because that's what that's what they mainly focus on. Their ultra capacity is where they're trying to make it shine the most at the same time. But with low band, they're basically going to improve more towers, more buildings, um, more I believe maybe maybe some tunnels in, in New York City. I'm not sure if they can actually improve those. I'm pretty sure they can with all the low band they have. They should be on the right track. However, their capex is majorly, majorly getting a huge. Um, it's getting a huge like. It's not tanking. It's not bad. I T-Mobile can survive with um, what is it, nine to twelve billion dollars a year, but they need to increase that capex because the more T, the more consumers and more network T-Mobile has the far off they'll be because the last thing T-Mobile wants is congestion. And to all the T-Mobile customers uh, that are currently uh, are subscribed to me or people who are about to go on T-Mobile, uh, I hope you enjoy the service. And I hope it's I hope you get good coverage, honestly. It just depends on where you are. Their coverage is not the highest. But hopefully with the Sprint merger and their um, 600 megahertz, they improve the coverage because they desperately need it. As far as I know, they, def they definitely need it. Um, T-Mobile is honestly the last carrier to uh, be improving their network at a slow rate, but they're actually improving it and actually um, upgrading their coverage at a fast rate. Surprisingly, I did not expect T-Mobile to, to, to be increasing their coverage so quickly. They are rapidly deploying uh, low band, mid band, and some ultra capacity, which is very surprising to me. So I'm actually glad T-Mobile is going in the right direction with this. Now, Aside from their prices, uh, with their Magenta Max plan, that's not that's not going to change at all. They're definitely still marketing to a lot of people. They're basically, and they're basically targeting Verizon the most, in my opinion. Now, like I said, I don't favor any carrier. I just talked about the facts, the news, and what it is. And T-Mobile, I'm pretty sure they're now targeting T. Uh, sorry, they're targeting Verizon because they know Verizon doesn't have a truly unlimited data plan. They know Verizon is has their 50 gigabytes of data which you know i will admit they do have it and honestly it's not too bad um it's it's you know it's slowed down little it slows down sometimes but it still works at the end you know i still get the coverage and speed i want to get when i want to load stuff up and t-mobile is heavily competing against them even though uh, T, uh verizon and at&t are to halt with their c-band verizon is rapidly improving their service now, we know 5G is, is uh, of course, the newest technology network. It's barely been one year. Well, actually, yeah, it's barely been one year. I want to say it's two years for T-Mobile because T-Mobile did deploy it in 2019 late. So I want to say they're about a two-year lead, which is good. I like where T-Mobile is headed, but T-Mobile needs to not get cocky and they need to not get carried away because – uh, we as as you guys heard from several news that they're trying to stop T-Mobile from marketing, saying they're the best carrier in the world. They have the best coverage. They have cover, they have all the coverage more than T than Verizon, which uh, I will agree. I mean, like if if that was the case, 
um, T-Mobile would have all the coverage that Verizon has, mostly from their LTE, which T-Mobile doesn't really have all of it because they still lack in major in major areas like rural America or urban America. But it just depends on where you're at with T-Mobile. But I really hope T-Mobile doesn't get carried away. And let's really hope they don't think that AT&T and Verizon is possible because it's a possibility. It's a possibility. And my pred- I'm going to predict by next year or two years, 2023, that they might be neck and neck for their for their coverage and their 5G. Who knows? They could be a neck and neck, and then by 2024, the title will be decided at the either the start or the end of the year on who will have the the more most of the 5G coverage and who will come out as first place. Because 5G is just very, it's rapidly increasing. With over, I believe, 60% of users having a 5G smartphone device, including me, because my my device is a 5G phone. It's just getting better and better and more people rely on the service. And the last thing T-Mobile wants is congestion. T-Mobile does not want to have that. I know they don't. From my personal experience, um, T-Mobile, they, I believe they had, I think I was doing a speed test by a 3G tower um, because because I was using the, the coverage map. Now, when I was next to this tower, the tower didn't really, um, it didn't really, the, like my signal right here, LT, it didn't show 3G. Because this tower was pretty, uh, it was midly upgraded. It just, it just, it really was a 3G tower. My speeds were just slowed down, and they were slowed down. They were, they were heavily slowed down the 3G. So hopefully, T-Mobile combines their two dot, their 600 megahertz of spectrum with Sprint's network, and also they shut down all the 3G towers so they can actually have a better network. And T-Mobile is actually smart with this. They're actually shutting down the 3G towers in, I believe, March. Of 2022, which is rapidly coming up. That's literally in three months. And Verizon is and AT and T. I believe they're doing it in January or February. So basically, it's going to be a race for AT and T and T Mobile for the first year coming up because all 3G towers are going to be cut off and they're going to be converted all to LTE and 5G towers. And both cover both AT and T and T Mobile's coverage will rapidly expand, which is good. Now I'm very curious to see. I'm very curious to make that video in the future because. Coverage will not be the same as it once was as it once was here in 2021. Coverage will rapidly improve and get better as time moves on. Hopefully, T-Mobile improves their ultra capacity in, in stadiums and big arenas and overall a lot of people where you see a, where they would use a lot of data, but there's no congestion. Like you could easily you could easily pull off two to three gigabytes of speeds and either uh, make a TikTok. You could post, you could post uh, like a game or anything on um, on YouTube. You could post it on Twitter and like blink a blink of an eye, and you wouldn't have an issue. So hopefully, T-Mobile handles that. Um, you know, I I'm not sure how T-Mobile will do it, but T-Mobile is on a good lead so far. Hopefully, they don't get carried away with this. But let me know what you guys think about this. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.